Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So you know that I'm preparing JavaScript and TypeScript series and today I got an email that uh, from the one of the candidates that this question was actually asked in one of the interviews, although I did not like the question at all. If I'm taking interviews, uh, I will never ask uh, such kind of questions. The question is that write a JavaScript program to print all even numbers between 1 to 50 without using any numerical digits in your code. It means you are not allowed to use any numeric numbers or any numeric digit like 1, 2, 3, 0, nothing. Right? So you have to write the code without using any numeric value. So uh, I got one concept in JavaScript that uh, with plus array operator, you can use it like with the plus operator you can use with the array. So for example, let's see if you really want to represent a zero. So I'm writing let zero is equal to simple write plus in the square bracket like this. So this is actually equivalent to zero. You are not allowed to use zero actually, but you can use this. So what exactly JavaScript will do at the runtime, it will try to convert this blank array to the numeric value and then it will actually give you the zero here. And I'm just printing zero here. Okay, so let's see what exactly it is printing. So you can say it's printing zero here, right? So with this zero, I can use something that I can create a formula here. I can use the incremental operator to get the one. So can I write one is equal to plus plus a zero, the pre-incremental operator, we can use it. So this one will become one. See, I'm not using any numeric uh, concept here or any numeric uh, digit here. So let's see, let one that I have captured, then I'm saying I'm creating two. So two is equal to what? So one plus one, all right? So that is also we have taken. So here the question is that you have to print all the even numbers. Even numbers means a number which is, uh, let's see, between one to 50. So output should be like this, a number which is totally divisible by two, or you can start with, let's see, two, then four, then six, then 10, then up to 50 that you have to print. So in this particular series that you have to print here. So two is equal to one plus a one, let's see that I have taken. Then I'm taking, taking that, okay, then what is the value of four? So I'm just creating some formula here that, so four will be two plus two, which is equal to four. Then I'm writing that if it is four, then what is a five? So five is equal to, can I say four plus one? This is a five. And then I'm writing, I'm directly creating the value for the 50. So 50, I can create a simple formula. Um, I can use two also here. And then this two, I can add it. Let me just check that this formula will work or not. So I'm writing five multiply by uh, five, uh, five here. So let's uh, write it. So here I'm writing five plus four multiply by two. And then, so this will give you white five multiply by five is equal to 25. And uh, this will give you four multiply by two, which is equal to uh, eight and then this five. So five better we use it multiply here. So five multiply by four is equal to <clears throat> 20. And this will give you 20 multiply by two is equal to 40 and 40 plus five plus five, we can use it here, right? So my idea is just to create 50 somehow without using any digit, right? So you can say that five multiply by four multiply by a two, and then put a bracket and then you calculate the bracket thing first. So five plus five is equal to 10. So which is equal to actually uh, 20 multiply by two, which is what? 40 plus 10 is equal to 50. I hope this is the right calculation. And then I'm printing, let's see 50 just to check that. So let's uh, run it. Is it really giving me 50 or not? Okay, good. So we are getting 50 here, right? So we know that we have to start the loop from one to 50. So one is available here and 50 is available here. So I can start writing a simple for loop. And let's see, I'm writing let, and then I is equal to, from where we have to start. So we have to actually start between one to 50. And I know that one is not the even number. So I can start from two also, that this two also we can write it. Then I can put the condition that if I is less than equal to what? 
50 because I have to include 50 also. And then I have to increase the value of i by 2. So can I write i is equal to i plus uh, 2 here like that. And then I'm printing console.log print i here. Right. So simple. And uh, so first time i is equal to 2. 2 is what? This guy. So see, this is 2. This is uh, 4. This is 5. And uh, 50 is equal to 50 that we have already calculated here. So 2 less than 50 condition is satisfied. So it will print 2 here. Then i is equal to become what? 2 plus 2. So I will become 4, then 6, then 8, and then so on up to 50. <clears throat> right. So let's see, is it really uh, printing the all the even numbers between 2 to 50? Yes, 34, 36, 38, up to 50 here. I mean, yeah, it is actually printing it. Okay. So yeah, this is the question I thought. Uh, what's the big deal here? The only thing maybe the interviewer wants to check that what is the representation of this? That also we can do it. There is one more thing we can do it here. Let's see if I really want to create zero, which is equal to plus uh, true. Also, we can use it. Let's see. Is it really giving me zero or not? Right. And I'll do one thing. I'm just printing console dot log and zero once again. Right. So let me just come here. Let me clear the console. And let me just comment it out all these guys and um, let me print zero. So I'm using node lang.js once again. So no, this is giving me actually one. So yeah, I can start using one also like this, or if I'm using, let's see a false here and uh, this is giving me zero. So yeah, you can use false also. So plus false also, you can use it if you don't want to use that thing. So maybe the interviewer is actually asking about uh, the, you know, maybe interested that are you really aware of uh, this concept, the plus array operator or plus array sign that you have to use it, which is actually representing zero in JavaScript, right? So like this, we can use it here. So let me just uncomment it and uh, you can use it with this also. So with the plus false also, you can use it. So let me run it again. Yeah, you are getting the values from two to 50 here. Okay. So this is a simple question. Generally, I don't prefer, I mean, I don't know what exactly you really want to check. Uh, this is simple basic formula. You can just keep creating it. Use your creativity in terms of creating the formula or any formula, any combination you can create it. Your target is that ultimately get the 50 and then print it on the console and that's it. I mean, yeah, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much.